I remember when I was an aspiring architect and I got my hands on one of the earlier versions of the guideline, I, I felt like, well, this is the holy grail. It has so much information that can answer many of the questions that I have. And I thought it was just a good, a good base to, to go through and to start getting up to speed on the requirements. The regulatory guidelines from the different agencies are, are very vague. There can be a lot of challenges to deciding um, whether something is underdesigned or, or overdesigned. And so trying to mitigate the requirements of, of the regulatory guidelines um, was one of, the, one of the things we wanted to address with the ISP sterile guideline. We really tried as a group to provide practical guidance um, to, to our readers so that facilities that are, that are designed following the guide are easy to defend when inspectors come in, they're easy to operate, the solutions are truly practical. One of the major points that the group focused on that uh, is faced in the industry by all of us that were involved was kind of come up with a harmonization of uh, standards and regulations. At least harmonize the U.S. requirements based on the FDA and the Annex 1 requirements from the EU and try and get those aligned as much as possible because we felt if we could harmonize those two agencies then we'd be helping most of the, of the world um, from a guidance standpoint. This guide is well vetted by the industry, by the regulatory agencies, and I, I think we gave everybody the opportunity to give their input and, and we did a good job of capturing all that. So many people can use the sterile manufacturing baseline guide. It can be used by facility owners. It gives a very good background for someone who's looking to renovate or expand or build a new facility to really get up to speed on all the main components that are going to go into their facility. We think that this guide has some excellent culmination of really great industry experience. We had some excellent subject matter experts involved with it from all different disciplines. Guys like Jason and Norm Goldschmidt and Krista Myers that really help unify everything. If you're experiencing challenges with your facility currently and, and uh, wondering how to either retrofit or make improvements to your facility, the Sterile Baseline Guide is certainly uh, a place to start. It's a place to, to look at what you have and compare to strategies that are listed in the guide um, to start coming up with some, again, practical solutions for how to either renovate or expand on what you have today.